enjoyed our first battle with our lady gladiators. So we're gonna do another and let the ladies' fists fly! This is three five and a rounds in a straw weight contest. Introducing your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. She's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 11 wins and three losses. She stands 157 centimeters tall and weighs already 56 kilograms. Representing Indian Combat Sports Academy and fighting out of Bangalore, India. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Manchi Kali And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. She's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of three wins and three losses. She stands 157 centimeters tall and weighs already 52 kilograms. Fighting out of Florence, Italy, please welcome Samin Kamal Bank. Your referee is Jackie Larkin. Indian corner is trying to fire Manjeet up. She's looking, if anything, a little too calm, but that's about to end. Yeah, the anticipation of this bite is killing me, and here we go. Samin throwing everything into those strikes. Demon looking in this fast, Phil. No feeling out here. This is stalk and bomb by the demon. Manjeet needs to be aware. Oh, no, she caught her, Manjeet caught her. Manji caught her right on the chin. Took the legs out. Listen to the pop from that crowd. Manji Kolikor trying to perform an exorcism of her own on the demon right here. But Manji's been cut just above the eye. That I believe Phil was from a clash, accidental clash of heads. Can't quite see the severity of that cut. There was a head clash again. Phil, this often happens when you have boxing-oriented fighters. They're taught how to move their head in boxing. They do sometimes come together. Oh, I believe we're going to have a doctor look at that cut. That's a legit cut. We can see that just, and it's right on the top of the, it's right on the top of the eyebrow, so we can see it. This is not where you want a cut, Phil. That's There's great. several bad things that can happen if the cut is in a specifically wrong place. Blood can get in the eye that can damage it. It can cause nerve damage above the eye. That's going to impede upon the vision if that's if that's a really bad cut. Oh, that does look nasty. I believe, Phil, this is going to be the end of the fight. I am very sad to say it. I do not believe the doctor is going to allow this to continue because that cut is deep and it can cause permanent damage to the nerves. This is a decision for the doctor not for those of us at ringside. We have medical experts trying to clear the blood away from the area so they can get a perfect view of the cut. No, that looks like it could be. I think the doctor's shaking her head there. Yes, yes. Oh, she says she's good to go. To it. Listen to the pop from that crowd. We've got a fired up Manji. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Women's Mixed Martial Arts. This is Brave Combat Federation 30. Superwoman punch attempt was thwarted. Oh, she caught, I think, ankle. Oh. Ankle was injured. Manjeet may have ruled her ankle, but good heavy sprawl from Samin. Just keeping those hips heavy. I'd like to see her disengage and stand up. There it is. Oh. Again, Manjeet backing that demon up. Manjeet's leg is hurt. She is unable to move the way she normally does. I think she's ruled her ankle a little bit. Yeah, she's MP in Carrick. Trying to come in for that take time. An injured ankle, of course, Phil, also makes level changing and shooting on the legs hard. That's a great point. So that could take away one of the offensive weapons of Manti. Samin just charging forward with big strikes. You can't call, no you can't call you a timeout in mixed martial arts. 
Deggy Larkin just says, you cannot call a timeout. Shades of Matt Hughes trying to call his own timeout. Manjeet is now injured above the eye, injured in the ankle. She is showing the warrior heart of the Indian people. Beautiful head movement. She turns it around. Demon answers. You can see just why Manjeet Kulikar is a trailblazer in women's mixed martial arts with this gutsy performance. The demon has a game. She believes it's working well. It's the stalking bomb. If I were the demon, I'd be really starting to target that cut with stiff jabs. Try and open that up a little bit more. Try and impede upon the vision of Manji. And they're throwing bombs at one another. Ladies and gentlemen, take cover because bombs are landing here in Hyderabad, India. Oh, she caught her! She, she caught, caught her. her! It was on the chin. Now we're going to watch the Demon's Crown game. So we haven't seen yet. Big shots being landed by Samin. Manji not really offering much. Is Deggy Lurgan going to call an end to this point? Samin needs to continue with those frequency of shots. Demon drives her opponent briefly, head below the hips, and Manjeet is up! What is Manjeet Kulikar mean of? Manjeet looking marginally more mobile than she was. Oh, she caught her again! It's an injured ankle, Phil. You have to respect the heart of Manjeet Kulikar. About a minute left. Samin trying to work for the crucifix position. You can see her just trying to step over it. Also needs to be wary of the Kimura. You can see her just trying to step over the head and set up. Manji trying to survive. And we have a reversal, not quite. Samin sits through in the scarf. Manji trying to go the other way. Trying to get out by a wall walk. She's out! What a fight! <laughs> This fight is bananas. What a fight and what a fighter. Manjeet Kulikar. Oh, big knee. That's a huge knee. You can see Manjeet just trying to shake it off, but she's wearing the story of this fight on her face right now. Only 18 seconds left. Can Samin, the demon, finish Manjeet Kulikar in the opening round. Ten seconds to go. This fight is unbelievable. They're training. Manji backs her up. Time. Wow, unbelievable first round of action. Obviously, tremendous round for the Demon Phil. The one thing I'd like to see her do is set up those shots a little more. We know what she's going to do. She's going to stalk. She's going to throw straight shots. Phil walking through the Green Hill replay. Absolute chaos is all I can say. Both girls landing huge shots on one another. You see Samin in the clinch. I'd like to see it if it was a, a clash of heads, but both women just throwing absolute caution to the wind. Very much to the approval of President Mohammed Shahid. You can see he's enjoying the fight right there. The beautiful street shots. Nice hand movement there from Bolivar. Right there, you see the ferocity of Sami Kamil Bay. Sami, dead, dead shot. Not a huge knee. There was a time, Phil, when mixed, women's mixed martial arts was barely a thing. Now WMMA is often the one of the best fights on the card. Both women showing just how tough they are, just how durable they are. Referee looking for a little time. We're not sure why. He may be calling the doctor into the ring again. He may just be making sure all the officials are out of the cage. I think he's... he's Decky's one of the very best in the business. I think he just wants that cut looked at again. We do have expert medical personnel here. Thanks to our health partners, Call Health. Again, our expert medical help is from our health partners, Call Health. You can see fighter safety is paramount here in Brave Combat Federation. So we take every measure to ensure that our fighters are not put in any kind of unnecessary danger. 
Dickey Dr. seems happy with it. Allowing the fight to continue. That's good news for all of us. It's even good news for the Demon because we know she wants to fight on and on. Dickey does run a tough, tough ship. Saw a little water perhaps or an ice cube on the ground, making sure it's cleaned up so no fighter slips. Dickey does the job Dickey himself. Dickey does it all, baby. Dickey Larkin just making sure everybody knows that that's his cage. Big deep breaths being taken by Samin Carrick. Dickey the boss, baby, and now the fighters are gonna take charge. Here we go. Second round ready to go. Can they replicate the intensity, the pace they set in that first round? Phil Munget's leg does appear to be better to a degree. I think she's just going to fight through, especially fighting here in India on this kind of a global stage. She's moving cautiously, but she is moving. Samin looks a little bit more tentative. Fatigue may be playing a little bit of a part here. But she's still incredibly dangerous. Phil's, the demon is now employing a different game. She's backing up. She's the one being stalked. This is not how she had success in the first round. I think her corner wants to see her turn around, start moving forward, throw those big shots. Right now, if you were the corner of Manjeet, you'd be saying, take the fight to Samin. She looks a little bit more tired. Take the fight to her, impose your striking. Lead the dance. Manjeet with a wry smile. Seems to be enjoying herself in there. Manjeet's corner a little bit worried. Her hands are low. She heard the comment, smiled, indicated to him she was OK. Both women seem to seem to be adopting the tact of counter striker right now. Trying to land their strikes predicated off the strikes of their opponent. Manjeet with the one two. Phil fights like that first round, get her adrenaline going, and of course it does the same thing for the fighters. Nice stiff job from Samin. Oh. Hit me again, she's saying. Oh. Hit me again. Little bit of gamesmanship, and you can tell Manji is just loving being in the Brave Arena right now. One, two, but landed more on the gloves. I think we might be seeing the tide start to turn ever so slightly here, Carrick. We are indeed. Demon had a very clear strategy. She is not implementing it effectively in this round. As you alluded to earlier, I have to believe it's due to conditioning. This is no slur in her conditioning, which is excellent. It's just a testament to how hard she worked that first round. Manji telegraphs the uppercut ever so slightly. It's got the feel of a fight. Whoever lands first could land big. Halfway mark. No clear, clear winner so far. Manjit is imposing her will to a marginally greater degree, but we need to see her land some shots. Samin needs to be, Samin needs to be careful of circling into that, into that right hand. She's circling towards the par hand and the par kick of Manjit. Manjit certainly winning the hearts and minds of the crowd, but perhaps not the judges. Manjit needs to land leather now. Oh! Nice counter striking from Samin. At this stage of the fight, a takedown could swing the rounds. If one of the fighters were to change levels and take down, they could end up stealing this round. Manjit very wisely playing with her opponent's head by taunting her and attacking the body to continue that fatigue issue. Needs to be careful of dipping that head too low. Could leave herself susceptible. That cut really starting to open up again. It would be in the best interest of Samin to really start to target that. Pop jabs and straights on it. Decky is the best in the business. He's taking a glance at that cut. He will stop it and bring the doctor in if he thinks it's appropriate. One minute to go in the rounds. Oh, beautiful straight landed by Samin. The Demon trying to conjure something up here in the closing stances of the second round. Samin now starting to impose her will, albeit at a slightly slower pace in round one. 
You have to continue. Fight until the referee tells you to there stop. Are no timeouts in mixed martial arts. Only timeout you've got is quitting. Good sportsmanship from Samin not to charge in, but there's, there's that take. There's that double. Nice Let's knee. See it again. Manji having serious trouble seeing out of that eye. Samin really needs to pour the pressure on now if she wants to get this win. Ten seconds left. Manji can't see out of that eye. Round ends, Phil. Doctors are going to take a very, very careful look at that cut. Very often, there's bloody cuts that are not dangerous, and there can be small cuts that are dangerous. You can't do an eye test on whether a cut is dangerous or not. It's factors like depth, depth, and precise places that matter whether this fight gets stopped or not. Phil walking through the Green Hill replay. What are we looking at? Again, both women landed hellacious strikes. In the middle stands of the fight, my team seems to be getting the, seems to be getting the better of the exchanges, but then as the fight progresses, as the round progresses, Samin kind of took the reins of the fight a little bit on Land of Extreme again, opening up that cut, forcing my team into the takedown, which she defended beautifully. It'll be interesting to see what the doctor makes of this cut, but again, it really is within the best interest of Samin to target that eye. Especially at the peripheral vision of Manji has been a beautiful one. Another doctor's taking a careful look at that eye. And it's over! It's all over! It's been called! Over. They have called the end of this fight due to cut. Sami Demon Kamal Bank is the winner. She comes over to offer her thanks to her opponent. Nation, even though we're disappointed when a fight is not allowed to continue, the doctor is the highest authority in that case. The doctor overreads the referee. The doctor overrules whoever owns the company. The doctor doesn't care about the fans. The doctor is the highest authority in there. The doctor stops the fight. It's over. The loss is now going to make it official. Let's give these two lady warriors a big round of applause and way to show the Indian heart and spirit. After two rounds, we have a corner stoppage due to cuts. For your winner, out of the red corner, from Italy, Samin.